whatever went down between us, you know, is is like real certain dimension in life. And I am honestly proud of her to see her accomplishments and where she have reached this year in particular, because she have a very trending show. And I am happy that she's successful at what she does. That means that whenever I feel like sitting on a show, I know exactly where to go. There was a time when I only did interviews with Miss Bling, nobody else. That's how much I consider her to be a great host. Now, I know that I came out here real angry this morning, and I had a lot to say. But as we always say around here, when the fox can't get the grape, they say it's sour. You know, if if you really love a person and you miss them, you're going to say things, you know. But we are grown enough to say, I apologize. I was wrong, you know. And she was the first person who came out and said, Mari, I was wrong to tell you to kiss my ass, you know. And that's where I felt let down because she never spoke to me like that. She always had the ultimate respect for me. But the respect started with me respecting her. Because when she called me up in Africa and said, Amari, you know, I would like to do an interview with you. The way she conducted the interview, the interview went viral and everything. I really love and appreciate her for that. You know, but I think I was rather selfish the past few months. I was just thinking about me, 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 me. You hurt me. You speak to me a certain way. You know, and but not once did I reconsider that this lady made me who I am today in the sense of she has something to do with my journey. And I'm grateful to people like the star, the gleaner. And of course, my fans come first, but I'm grateful to the star, the gleaner and all these people who make Amari who she is today. You understand? And but if I should say the star, the gleaner and leave out Miss Miss Bling, I would be a damn liar. And let me tell you something. Whatever I said before in the past in regards to her, it is the truth. You understand? But in the same tone, I must say that I wish we could argue around here without speaking each other business, you know, and that's something I have to ask God to teach me to hold my tongue, no matter what goes down, so that when friendship is tested, that, you know, you you will know that Amari will not put your business out there because I don't like when RT does it. I don't want to be that person. I definitely don't want to be that person. But as we grow through life, go through life, we grow every day. Because, you know, way back when I had the worst temper, each, every day I'm growing. And I see myself as a better and a better person each time. Today I was looking at a video that someone shared and they shared it to me also. And it was a video of me talking about menopause. And I personally have grown to love and respect myself more than anything else, you know. And when I look at that lady and and the person that I saw, that's the woman I want to continue to be. You know, I don't I don't want to be around here. You know, it's a a nice of the place. But when it comes to hurting feelings, I'm not for it. But by now, I think that everybody knows Amari by now. Amari is filled with love at the end of the day. If you take sick, I'm the first person that will fight for you, will die for you, will walk to the end of the block for you. You understand? But if you're wrong about something, I'm definitely going to tell you that you're wrong. Because you have to realize that I'm being led by the Holy Spirit. Or there's a fight between God and the devil for this soul. Let's say Jesus and the devil for this soul, Amari's soul. You get what I'm saying? So there are times when the devil have me one way and Jesus be like, come here. You don't belong over there. You're not that person. You're this person. And that is what they call a split personality. You feel me? But I really want to be a good person in life. Now, when I think about everything, why should we be jealous of Miss Bling? God knows she's trending. And with me on board, she's going to trend even more. 
if we're talking about women empowerment, some of us are good in certain things and some of us are good in other things. And I always advise her that she would work out well as a radio broadcaster. Well, radio really isn't trending like um, social media and she's right where she belongs right now. Okay, let's talk about the weight. I too was surprised that she had gained so much weight, but she did mention that she having IUD. I can tell you about that shit. I, I, I don't know. Is IUD is like to prevent you from getting pregnant, you know, but that's how I gained weight also. It wasn't the ID. IUD, it was the Depo-Provera, an injection that they were giving out in Jamaica. I was a little slimmer than this. Let me tell you, my waist was so tight. Nobody would call me Margot around here if they knew the originally, original Venice Feng Chung. And I took Depo-Provera at the age of 17 years old when my nurse advised me to take it. And it's not a matter of eating. It's not a matter of not taking care of your body. It's not a, a matter of not detoxing your body. It's nothing like that. The hormones, I came to realize that hormones have a lot to do with weight gain. Now, several years ago, I was doing everything you could possibly think of to lose weight. And I walked into this place, a farm, not really a farm, pharmacy, a health aid place. And the guy said to me that, let me tell you something, and you're not going to believe it. But the problem why you're not losing weight is your hormones. And so I went home and I researched it and everything. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, it's just recently, like a week, two weeks ago, I realize the value of hormones and how much it has to do with you gaining weight, how much it has to do with you having a flabby figure, and how much it has to do with you being lean and mean. You know, I won't go into that now, but you, you know, you need to do your research, but I will take time out on TikTok and tell you all about it. You know that I'm on TikTok. You know, you know me, you know, I'll be there one minute, the next minute I'm gone, but um, I hope to continue being there, but I'm definitely for sure on facebook.com slash Amari777, you know what I mean? So um, I thought about life and I said, you know, Amari, if you publicly denounce this woman and put her down how are you going to be seen in the eyes of the public? If you are going to walk around here calling people fat and calling people ugly, how can you truly be a mentor? When you were once in that position and you felt, you, you, you felt bullied, you get me? You know how it feel. Why should you turn around and do the same thing to somebody else? I caught myself saying the wrong words to this individual because you know that we argued today on TikTok, you know, and I was like, no, 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 you ain't going to get the last word in. I'm going to beat you down right air, right air. I, I honestly went on TikTok to take away the crown. I'm lying to you. And I was there and I was like, I'm going to get you. In one week, I can dominate this whole place. I can take away your fan base. I can take away Queenie fan base, everything and all that. That's how I was thinking. My numbers can go up by the thousands and I'm going to run TikTok. And in the midst of us arguing, I say, hold on, hold on. You know, one represents all. Here you are. Here you are because you know that you, God, give you this power. You know that. And is this what you're going to use it for? To tell a woman to join the bullies and tell her how she's fat and how she's ugly? I said, no. I was speaking to myself or God was speaking through me. I said, no. Because what about my fans that have weight? How are they going to feel? If I do it to one, I'm going to do it to all. And I'm like, Amari, 
Look where God bought you from. You're not here to tear down. You're here to build up. And then I realized that love conquers all. I said, Miss Bling, we need to talk. Just give me a chance and let us talk. And that's the Amari that God wants me to be. I was able to level up, to speak my truth, to embrace our weakness, to gather our strength, and to put her on a podium and give her wings to fly. Now she's able to fly and fly so high. And I feel like a woman. But how can I truly be a woman cutting down someone else? That is not what God cut me out to be. So, you know, I'm about to take, and you, you, you know, I don't want to go into certain things, but, but I'm about to take my tablets. But I want to say what I said to her on TikTok. Um, the video is on my YouTube, as a matter of fact. I think I named it um, Bling Cursed Out Amari. Not Amari Cursed Out Bling. Because I want her to feel like the power is. God have blessed me, bless me, bless me, bless me. And if there is an entrance that she can go through to be and become all that she can be, go through. You understand? And so I entitled the video, um, Bling Cuss Out Amari. And yeah, I had to add that she cussed me out about the weight loss secret that I took back from her. And I remember the day when, you know, she asked me for the secret to lose weight. And it's the truth. I started to give her out information in regards to losing the weight. And I remember deleting the information on WhatsApp. It's like, I felt like I had worked hard and did so much research, spent so many, many months you know, studying this thing. And if we should go way back, it's so many years that I felt like she was getting off too easy. And so I deleted the information, which would have helped her to start on her weight loss journey. And, uh, but then later on, I did give a lot of information to my fans in regards to the weight loss journey, but I did delete the information that I give to her. Cause honestly, Miss Bling, I was so drawn to her that, that I had to be careful. I, I'm careful of females on a wall. I felt like, oh, she on, she's only close to me because she wants to know what makes me who I am. Cause she was always asking me questions. How comes you are this social media icon? How do you do it? What are the secrets? How can I make thousands of dollars like you? And I felt like, man, I cannot give away all this information because I had to learn the hard way. You know, so I honestly did that. You get what I'm saying? I'm not going to say apologize for it, but I will say this much, that those secret at the time was just step one. Weight loss is a thing where somebody can just give you one secret and that's it. Because if you regain the weight, you regain like three, four times back the amount that you lost. It's, it's a never ending journey. It's a journey. If you're not true to yourself, you cannot be true to your health. If it's a journey where if you not, if you don't know to be loyal to someone, you can't even be loyal to the journey. It's a journey that takes a lot of self-control. It's a journey that comes with changes. A person that um, is, is at a certain age, they cannot take the same journey. Like if you're 52, a person 25 have to take a different journey. And you cannot give a whole entire crowd one solution. Each and everybody body is different. Everybody has different bodies, different lifestyles, different paths, 
different goals and everybody have to be counseled individually. You know that I own Celeb Pro. I won't go into it because I'm not ready to launch it. But the day I'm ready to launch it, I'm telling you, each person has to be counseled individually. I don't know if you realize, but I've been going to school and I've been studying everything in regards to health and um, fitness and all that. We'll talk, we'll talk more about it because for the launching, I'm making sure that I'm certified in every way. But um, like I said, you notice what I said. Your age has a lot to do with it because a person who is going through menopause has to do things completely different from a person who um, has menstruation. For example, a person who has menstruation is bloated at certain times of the month. So if you are helping them on the journey towards weight loss, you have to um, help them to not feel that bloated certain times of the month before their period. And, you know, stuff like that. A person who's sexually active, they may also feel bloated. And there's just so much to it. A person who's stressed out, a person who have a night job, a person who have a day job. Everything is so much different. Like, for example, the best way to lose weight will be like from sunrise to sunfall. Let me tell you, I research this thing. Sunrise, you wake up, you eat your eggs and everything, get your, get in your protein and everything. I tell you what to do throughout the day. You make sure before sundown, you stop eating. But what about if the person works at night and the person sleep at day? That's why you got to know a person's lifestyle. You got what I'm saying? So there's so much to it, but, um, I hopefully I will um, take that journey with you. Just give me a couple months before I launch Celeb Pro. You know, so I want to say good night to the beautiful Miss Bling. And I know that a lot of people are talking about, oh, I'm already going to done you real soon. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. No, it's not going to happen. Okay. Don't look for it to happen because I'm not going to beat a person when they're down. At a time when she should be fucking proud of herself. I'm not going to do it. I'm done. And and don't nobody go curse her now and think that I'm with you. Or think you can't come tell me that you did whatever you did, Amari. That's my past. Let's talk about today. You fuck with her. You fuck with me. Leave her alone. I don't know when since people expect people to go to interviews in glitter and gold. You understand? You go to a fucking interview, you wear your jeans. You, you look at these celebrities. They'll be going with their jeans and they don't get their ear done. All of them wear caps. Even China have on her cap because guess what? Her wig ain't done, you know, her, her braid's still in her ear and she cover it and go do her interview. You understand? Because basically, you're not there to really look at her. You're, you're there to hear what she has to say. So I see nothing wrong with Miss Bling wearing her jeans and her nice t-shirt with her tits looking all good. Wish I had tits like those. You get what I'm saying? And just being herself. I see nothing wrong with it. It's so surprising that the people around here who love to talk are the people that can't even afford to have more than one outfit like Amari. You understand? It's like they don't have a wardrobe. Just like the people who like to talk about how Amari like to go shopping. When last have you been shopping? Yet you like to criticize Amari. But I've grown to realize that my fans gain power by beating me down and beating other people down. So I just let them have a field day. You know, and um, I love when they laugh. I love when they have fun. Even if they have to criticize me and everything. Let me tell you, I love these fucking Jamaicans. You you go anywhere, it, they will tell you that Jamaicans bring the vibes even right now, that girl, um, Spice, I Spice, she's doing a song. I think um, she's using like a line from Sean Paul's song, Give Me the Vibes or one of them, you know, because Jamaicans have the vibes. So am I going to argue with um, my Jamaicans for making fun of me? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to argue with them because they are the ones that bring the vibes. 
You get me? And at the end of the day, they're airy. They give a lot of love. You know, so I want to say big up to my Jamaicans and to the people who have a Jamaican heritage. And big up to my peeps in UK. I'm falling in love with you more and more UK. Big up to the people in Virginia and all these small islands. Bahamas everywhere. Bahamas, you know you are a part of me because I was conceived in Bahamas. And my mom went to Jamaica and gave birth to me. So, Miss Bling represent all the other women around here who give everything to their kids and not able to do their hair and not able to buy clothes because they want to make sure that their kids have clothes even when they don't have. You understand? But the thing about it, she knows how to put it all together whenever she's ready. You get what I'm saying? And she have her man. She don't have him lock. So it's not like she's out here to impress anyone. You understand? So I want to wish Miss Bling all the best. I mean, nobody could come worse than Amari and Queenie, where I went on the, the sting and pull off Queenie wedding dress. And today, you know, I have a special love for Queenie. So what to say Miss Bling when me and her are supposed to be even tighter than Queenie? You get what I'm saying? So like I was saying, I was so busily talking and thinking about all that I did for her that I forgot the times when I cried on her shoulder. I forgot the time when one time she called me and I was crying, crying. And she kept saying, Mona, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? And I couldn't even tell her. I was crying because I was going through much, through so much. But she was a shoulder for me to lean on. One thing I can tell you, and I will tell you straight and plain. You see the star, the gleaner, people like um, Lava Sound, people like Vibes Cartel. People like Sicker Rhymes, people like Kemar McGregor, don't anybody try to come between me and them. You understand? People like Claude Mills and all these beautiful people, people like Rico Single. You understand? I have to remember the people that have been with me on this journey, including my fans all the way from Facebook. My fans all the way from yearbook, my fans on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Reverb Nation, all over. If I'm going to tell you that I'm going to be ungrateful to anyone, that means I will be just as ungrateful to you as I am to them. You understand? So right now I have to remember where I'm coming from. And what I remember most of all is when God said to try to be at peace with everyone. At least try. If they turn you away, fine. But at least try to be at peace with everyone. That don't stop the entertainment around here. But I want to take time out to thank people like RT Boss who allow me to box him down and kick him down. And him never do a follow-up about that. Because that box and that kick felt so good. I felt empowered. But these men nowadays, some man would have clapped my back, whether on stage or not, but he was gentleman enough. But I love you, RT, for calling me when I met in accident a couple weeks ago. You were there for me, and I truly love and appreciate you. And if... These men around here could just be there for the woman like RT have been. The world would be a better place. Beautiful people, take care of yourselves and good night and may God bless you all.